this is true buzz That Mary J, now we ain't new to this From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts Yeah, and, and the thing is, back to like THC percentages and all that Like Indica and Sativa, while it's a good guidepost, it's kind of a myth like it's it's really more about the terpenes and that's why also we're seeing so many hybrids too because honestly a lot of the genetics are just becoming hybrids at this point because we've crossed that and crossed that and you don't know if if, if you're getting a blue dream seed from one grower it might be completely different from another grower so yeah. it's kind of hard to rely on oh i want an indica this or a sativa that but it's a good guidepost at least people know like if you go to the dispensary and you say i like sativas they know that you're likely looking for something that's going to be upbeat creative yeah so it's a good guidepost but you know no i'm happy you said that because it is interesting because i've definitely had some stuff recently that i got that was supposed to be more on the indica side i'm like i don't know it's kind of Every, and two, everybody's different. Everybody's body chemistry is exactly. their, their biology will hit, feel it different too. Mm -hmm. And even me back to like just edibles in general, like my favorite time to take an edible is after like working out or just, you know, not eating for a while. So it just hits fast and hard. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a good technique. Because yeah, I'll eat, if I have a big meal, like I did the other night, I had a big dinner and then I ate some edibles. I'm like, it's, it's like, two hours in and it's like it's just hitting yeah you know so it's just interesting to play with it and everybody's metabolism is different to mm -hmm. see how it might hit somebody else really quick like and people have crazy different tolerances like when i first started in the industry i was making 25 milligram cookies and but i was testing i had no idea that it was i only knew it was 25 milligrams based on whatever kind of math i was doing but i was also sourcing my weed from a um, an unlicensed dispensary. So I had no idea what the THC was percentage was. I was just guessing. So I was probably making around 25 to 35 milligram cookies. But I was my own guinea pig and a couple of my chef friends and people that I worked with at the time were my guinea pigs when I was kind of figuring out the recipes. And I was like, I don't know, should I make it stronger? Should I make it less strong? And they were like, no, 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 it's perfect, it's perfect. And so when I started doing events with that same 25 milligrams, so many people were like, what? <laughs> 25 milligrams girl you trying to kill me um so yeah some people you know they can only handle like two milligrams at a time for real yeah <laughs> yeah so you gotta be careful yeah, it's true it's like a little nibble little uh like all oh, those kiva mints i've given somebody just mm -hmm. a little nibble and they got like way high i tons of them i couldn't even really feel it i know now it's unfortunate with doing the reviews this is true buzz that Mary J. Now we ain't new to this. From my stones and from my cannabis enthusiasts. Never heard a show as good as this. Uh, number one, it's the best. Bringing in many special guests in the industry of cannabis. Business owners to growers, even artists you know of. So sit back and just roll up. Perfect show for my smokers. True buzz. Hey.